Now, if you've been looking for a silver lining in the coronavirus pandemic, it may be this. The number of robocalls has dropped. But even that win may be short-lived. CBS 4's Tom Hansen has more. You may have noticed your phone ringing a little less lately. When the pandemic closed stores in the spring, it also shut down call centers. According to Umail, robocalls dropped 40% between February and April. But with the economy reopening, the numbers are creeping back up. And in June, 45% of those robocalls were scams. Say goodbye to scam calls. Now T-Mobile is offering something new to its customers, including those with recently acquired Sprint. We're calling it Scam Shield. T-Mobile's Matt Staniff says the free service will block some scam calls and provide a caller ID for every number. That means every call that comes in will have a name attached to it and you won't have to play the guessing game. Customers can also get a second phone number so you don't have to give your main number to strangers. That way you can keep your personal number personal. There's a recognition by the industry that robocalls have hit a point where they're just one of, if not the most annoying aspect of having cell phone service. CNET's Roger Chang says all phone carriers are making robocall blocking a priority. Many companies, including T-Mobile, offer technology that verifies a number is real and not spoofed. The question is, will all that new tech work? But I think you're going to see a continued cat and mouse game here where some of these scammers will work to get ahead of some of these systems. The carriers will, again, try to counteract that. The fact that these carriers are all on the same page Definitely gives me some hope that the volume of robocalls will go down. But Chang and other experts don't expect those annoying calls will completely go away. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York. Well, last December, President Trump signed a bill requiring phone companies to adopt technology that can identify spam calls.